I'm Chuck Linick. I'm a Ukrainian American who was baptized with the name Yaroslav, which is also the name that I use in the historical reenactment group, the Society for Creative Anachronism. I decided to, instead of letting my research on Slavic lore and Slavic history remain in my musty old notebooks, I decided to share the information in video form on my YouTube channel, which by the way, it'd be really cool if you subscribe to it. So this is an unexpected rabbit hole I fell into. Uh, growing up in a Ukrainian household, watching Taras Bulba with my dad and hearing both family and Ukrainian history, I developed a fascination with the Cossacks. In fact, my first persona in the society was a Cossack and I dove into the history trying to flesh out the persona. One of those touchstones, one of those sources of inspiration was the 1891 Ilya Repin painting, usually called Reply of the Zaporozhian Cossacks. It's also known as Cossacks of Zaporoh are drafting a manifesto and Cossacks are writing a letter to the Turkish Sultan. If you pick up almost any book on Ukrainian history, you'll end up seeing that painting someplace. Now, Reply is filled with all sorts of villainous looking Cossacks, and I'm sure the painting is responsible for a fair number of SCA uh, Cossack personae that were developed, mine included. I always wanted to be this guy the villainous looking rogue, who it turns out happens to be the leader, Ivan Sirko. Now that I'm older and fatter and grayer, I've turned into this guy and I have to kind of admit it. Incidentally, he's supposed to be Taras Bulba. From their stronghold in the fortified siege of Zaporozhia, located on an island below the fierce rapids of the Dnipro River, they became a fearsome military and political force, resisting and threatening equally the surrounding nations, Poland, Lithuania, Russia, and the Ottoman Empire. So what's the painting about? Reply of the Zaporozhian Cossacks depicts a supposedly historical tableau uh, set in like 1675 or 76, and it's based on the legend of Cossacks sending an insulting reply to an ultimatum from the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. According to the story, Sultan Mehmed IV, the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire, sent his forces against the Zaporozhian Cossacks. And the Cossacks won. Okay. Sultan Mehmed IV he isn't having any of this. Instead, what he writes is a very grandiose letter. Sultan Mehmed IV to the Zaporozhian Cossacks. As the Sultan, son of Muhammad, brother of the sun and moon, grandson and viceroy of God, ruler of the kingdoms of Macedonia, Babylon, Jerusalem, Upper and Lower Egypt, Emperor of Emperors, Sovereign of Sovereigns, Extraordinary Knight, Never Defeated, Steadfast Guardian of the Tomb of Jesus Christ, Trustee Chosen by God Himself, the Hope and Comfort of Muslims, Confounder and Great Defender of Christians, I command you, the Zaporozhian Cossacks to submit to me voluntarily and without any resistance and to desist from troubling me with your attacks. Okay, rather than giving in to the demands of the Sultan, the uh, Ottoman or Hetman Ivan Sirko, the leader of the Cossacks, he's going to respond with a letter of his own and it's co-written by his men and it's filled with a it's a parody of the sultan's letter and it's filled with a lot of insults and a lot of profanity and the painting by Ripin, it shows that 
contemptuous disregard for authority that the Cossacks had. And also, you could see the Cossacks, you know, pleasure in uh, doing one-upsmanship on each other of, ooh, add this part, add, say this. So here's one version of the reply. Zaporozhian Cossacks to the Turkish Sultan. Oh, Sultan, Turkish devil and damn devil's kith and kin, secretary to Lucifer himself. What the devil kind of knight art thou that canst not slay a hedgehog with your naked arse? The devil shits and your army eats. Thou shalt not, thou son of a whore, make subjects of Christian sons. We have no fear of your army. By land and by sea we will battle with thee. Fuck thy mother. Thou Babylonian scullion, Macedonian wheelwright, brewer of Jerusalem, goat fucker of Alexandria, swineherd of greater and lesser Egypt, pig of Armenia, Podolian thief, catamite of Tartary, hangman of Kamenets, and fool of all the world and underworld, an idiot before God, grandson of all the serpent and the crick in our dick. Pig snout, mare's ass, slaughterhouse, cur, unchristened brow, screw thine own mother. So the Zaporozhians declare, you low life, you won't even be herding pigs for the Christians. Now we'll conclude, for we don't know the date and don't know, don't own a calendar. The moon's in the sky, the year with the Lord, the day's the same over here as it is over there. For this kiss our ass. Koshevoy Ottoman Ivan Sirko with the whole Zaporozhian host. Whether the incident portrayed in the painting actually happened or it's just another one of those stories, that isn't known. There are a number of letters that are floating around. Uh, this is one that happens to be in Ukrainian written at a later time. But again, you can't really seem to find a lot of hard evidence. Still, I hope it's true. So, until the next time, do pobachenya.